Hey guys, welcome back. Hi guys, welcome back and hello if you're new. My name is Sarah and I'm so glad you're here. I have gift guides like this one throughout the whole entire year and I have done this for many, many years now. So I will have the playlist linked above for you guys of all the different gift guides. I have things not only just for birthdays, um, but I have Christmas and Valentine's Days and Easter's and boot buckets. I also have them for um, not just my kiddos, but also my husband and um, teachers and people and loved ones in your life. I have a whole entire big old chunk of a playlist of all of the gift guides that I've done throughout the years. And this one is super fun and special because it's typically the unofficial start of my holiday gift guides. And so I'm so excited to share it with you guys today. Um, like I said, I will have everything linked below. Um, but I am currently in my girl's room right now. It is decorated for Christmas. It's super cozy and pink and sugar plum fairies and wonderful and I love it in here. Um, but I'm sharing with you guys today my nine-year-old olds will soon to be 90 year olds um birthday gift guide so every single year like i said i have shared this video guys video with you guys of just different gift ideas as she's grown and things that she's been interested in and she is now almost nine and her um just ideas and personality and um, wants and desires have definitely changed and fluxed and grown throughout the years and so this year is no different and um, so those of you who have you know that age rage kiddos in your life hopefully this can give you a bunch of ideas not only just for their birthdays but as the holiday season approaches I know a lot of you guys enjoy this video to kind of get a jump start on the holiday shopping so I will try to have everything linked below as normal, um, but there are some things that I bought like in store at places that ne don't necessarily have shoppable links, but anything that is shoppable and I can link for you guys, I will have it for you guys below. So like I said, this is for my nine year old Olive um, and for birthdays, um, for both my girls, not just Olive, but also for Eleanor, I really try to make sure that their birthday gifts are not just like the fun stuff and just the toys. Um, definitely for Christmas is when I feel like I just go all out with the toys and all of that stuff. But for the birthdays, I really try to cater to their interests. Uh, their special interests. So whether it be arts or music or creating or you know, whatever the case may be, some sort of athletics or sports or whatever, I really try to cater to those special interests and help them really kind of flush out um, those things and really help just encourage their imagination and their creativity. Um, I've done that for a number of years now and it's something that I really, really enjoy doing and something that I think they really appreciate as well. And this year is no different. We definitely have a lot of like things that cater to all these special interests um, and then some fun things as well. So we're just gonna get started. Like I said, um, her special interests are varied, but for the most part, she absolutely, absolutely adores art. That is her main love and thing to do, um, is create and draw and put together and make and anything you can do with art, she loves to do it. So, this year is no different. I bought her a number of art things. Um, first things first is I got her a couple of these kind of like origami style papers or kind of scrapbook papers. These are both from Daiso, which doesn't necessarily have a, they have some shoppable links. Um, you can shop online at their store, but they don't have everything online. But we have one locally to us, and so I picked up a couple of these things there. Um, like I said, both of these are, I think, technically are origami papers, which she does like to do and give a, uh, go, give her a, give a go at, but... Um, she has been really into just like kind of scrapbooking and kind of creating her own little like pages and stuff like that. So I thought regardless of what she does, I know that she's going to enjoy these. So there's one that has these pretty roses on them and ones that have strawberries. There's a big chunk of them so I know she'll get uh, her use out of them. Along that same kind of vein are Ollie's obsession with stickers. <laughs> Both of my kids love stickers. I feel like in the age of like toddlerhood when I feel like every kid loves stickers, they just like didn't care about them. But now as they're getting older, it's like all they want is a bunch of stickers. So um, I got a ton of stickers. A lot of times I get them off of Amazon or Etsy or Timu because um, you can get so many for so cheap. So I got two packs of these kind of like vintage looking cat stickers because if you guys don't know, Olive is obsessed, obsessed with cats. Then we have these, which are adorable, another pack of cat stickers, but these are just like actual um, 
you know cats and like fun costumes and making funny faces and they're just cute more on the fun side and then i have a pack of stickers that are super similar to this but they're kind of like just aesthetically pink so there's just a bunch of different like flowers and bows and jewelry and like cameras and drinks and stuff like that but i then found this which is a whole sticker book um and it has just a bunch of those stickers in it so um again just like the like a pink aesthetic totally olive super super cute and she can do with these whatever she wants uh, to decorate with to put on her school supplies on her water bottles whatever um she just loves stickers so she asked specifically for some so decided to give her a bunch um the little small packs i'm going to put in here just for fun but this is a little pack that I got from, um, again, from Daiso. And if you guys haven't been watching the past number of years, both of my kids are obsessed with Sanrio. Ollie has been obsessed with Sanrio now for a number of years. Her last birthday haul had a ton of Sanrio stuff in it. Um, but Eleanor now has fully jumped on the band bandwagon and so she's absolutely obsessed. But they also are really into like little purses and pouches and just like compartments for stuff. I feel like this is just like a natural progress of things that kids go through. <laughs> I think it maybe makes them feel like little adults or something. Anyway, I found this really cute little like coin pouch um, from Daiso and it's little twin stars um, which are little Sanrio characters. So I'm just gonna stick some stickers in it. She can do whatever she wants with this um, but for now it'll be like a fun little sticker surprise. So those are her just, oh wait, we also have another pack of stickers. I think these are like cute little kawaii style stickers. Um, like little character, kawaii characters, yeah. Look how cute those are, can you see that? I don't know if you can even see that. Ah, but they're adorable. So again, just another pack, little pack of stickers. To expound on the crafting, I found these two, I can't remember if I got these from Amazon. It looks like it is an Amazon sticker, but I don't remember where I got these. I've had these for a while. But essentially, these are like little diamond paintings. So she's been wanting to do a ti little diamond painting for a while, um, but they're really, really massive typically, or they're really small and have like really chunky diamonds. I feel like there's not like a good like intermediate little um, set, except for now. And what's even better is that it's like Hello Kitty Slan Rio theme. So this is my melody, and I believe this one is Cinnamon Roll. And it's like a cute little kawaii kind of like image with like the Sanrio characters involved. And basically it's just a bunch of gems that are color coordinated and you stick it on here. And then it comes with a little frame that she can decorate um, and put in her room for home decor because she's really obsessed with her whole little aesthetic and home decor. And so um, I thought this was such a fun like craft for her to do, something to help keep her busy during the long cold winter days where she can't like go out around and play um, and help with her fine motor skills. I mean, it's definitely something that is gonna take a little bit of time too. So it helps something really for her to focus Focus in, but then something she can use for decoration. So that was really cute. If it's something that Eleanor actually really is interested in or it's something that they really enjoy doing, I think they have a bunch of other sets. So I was really excited to kind of like stumble upon this. So I got two for now and we'll kind of go from there and see. But I just thought this was like a fun kind of like, not unique gift because Diamond Painting has definitely grown in popularity, but more of just like her specific niche. And I love the fact that it already has a frame so it can just be already on display. Then, something she specifically asked for was air dry clay. <laughs> um, I think they're doing a lot of like just clay art at school and so she wanted um, a Crayola tub of just plain white air dry clay. She wanted the five pounder, I got the two and a half pounder because I still feel like this will be more than enough clay for her for right now. Um, but Target was recently having like a big sale on Crayola and so this was like two bucks or something. It's already really inexpensive. So um, I got her a big tub of it. But before she even had asked for it, she had, I had already found a new set of air dry clay because she really, really liked it last year. And it was something that we had all kind of done together as a family was kind of create these little figurines and it was really fun. So, um, but when we were moving, a lot of that ended up getting destroyed and just like dried out and yucky. So I found another little just inexpensive air dry clay set on Amazon. Um, this comes with a ton of different colors. And then it does come with a couple of like little tools to help you like cut and you know get the shapes and stuff that you want. Um, so we're gonna do that this year. Again, just like a fun thing to use for her crafting. But along the same line, 
I ended up stumbling upon these two things from Daiso. And again, Sanrio themed. This is a uh, cinnamon roll and then My Melody and Karomi. And they're like little like shape cutters. So you just cut them out of shapes and then the clay dries and she has her own little my like Sanrio characters. This makes you like full 3D, um, like little, I don't know, just cute or like 4D, I don't know, like full little figures um, of cinnamon roll. And she has all the different colors that she can use and create with. I thought she would totally love these for decorations, for play. She can make some for her friends. Um, these were super inexpensive and I just think she's gonna be so excited to see little like Sanrio cutters for clay. And then I found these, these are actually made for resin, so I don't know how well they will actually work. Um, the clay may end up getting stuck and not working as well, but I thought we could try them out because they were really inexpensive. But I got these little silicone resin makers that have um, like little bows, and this one are little butterfly shapes. Again, we'll see how it works. It may totally, may totally work, it may totally not work, but they were inexpensive and we can always use them for trying out some resin activities um, later down the road. On the same line as Crayola, um, this was something that she had put on her wish list for birthday and for Christmas um, in like the Walmart toy catalog or Target or Amazon or something. And again, Crayola was having that big sale. And so for her birthday this year, she's officially having her best friend come over for a sleepover. It's the first time she's ever done it, first time she's ever had a sleepover, first time her best friend has ever had a sleepover, and so, or gone to a sleepover. So it's going to be really exciting. They are so excited, both of them. I'm so excited for them. Sleepovers were some of my absolute favorite memories I had um, with my best friend that I'm still best friends with to this day. And so I can't wait for her to experience that. Um, and so I thought it'd be really fun for them to do some scribble scrubbies together so this is still a present for her but I think it may be something that is also an activity that they get to do together because her best friend really loves scribble scrubbies too if you don't know what scribble scrubbies are they are basically these little like little figurines that you can color all over and decorate and then they are washable um, and they came out a number of years ago I uh, uh, um, back then I bought like the main pack when they first came out and my kids loved them and they were much younger then and now they still love them I feel like this is such a good gift for a variety of age ranges it's for three plus but like I said my daughter's about to be nine and she still really wanted this um, this one is the scented spa so it has scented uh, Crayola markers but then it also has like a scented spray to spray on them for them to be in a spa it comes with two little figures like I said she already has a bunch of them um, like from the first initial kit so they can use them on that too um, but I just like this cute little case I thought it was adorable it was inexpensive I think this is such a cute little gift um, and I highly recommend Scribble Scrubbies they have been a favorite for many years and I feel like every kid I mean they have so many different sets like jungle sets and arctic sets and pet shops and all sorts of stuff so there's something for everyone. I think I've shared this before, but I'm not positive. But Eleanor had, or Eleanor, Ollie became obsessed with Miraculous Ladybug um, over summer. She binge watched the show when we were moving and she was just obsessed, like still obsessed. Um, and so I was able to stumble upon some graphic novels, which is her favorite way to read. She prefers graphic novels and comics over chapter books, which she still reads, but she really, really, really gets into graphic novels. And so I was so excited to see that they brought out a, a number of these. Um, I picked up one and two. I can't find the second one. Don't know where it is. So I'm hopefully I can find it and put it in her stocking or wrap it up for Christmas. But I at least have one of them. But um, again just more manga style and she's gonna love it and be so excited. I don't think she knows that these exist, so I can't wait to give it to her because she's gonna be super, super pumped. So I always try to get my girls either like some sort of educational item, whether it's a book or like a fun game or something that's like more interactive and for their minds. Um, and so right now we're doing some Miraculous Ladybug. Along the same lines, my mom found um, these little Kwame miracle boxes on clearance at Walmart and so she picked up a couple and we're just going to kind of gift it together in that set but they're just like little surprise boxes with the little animal magical figurines in there that'll just be kind of fun for her to open to kind of boost her miraculous obsession. Next this is something she was like begging to have and it's such a random thing but very on brand for her but just such a random thing but she wanted this pencil case so badly it made it on her birthday list, her Christmas list. She'd send me like messages and like messenger kids and just remind me that this is what she really wanted and like all the places that I could get it. 
Um, so I got it for her, but it's just a pencil case, but it's like an old-fashioned like 90s style pencil case so it has like the little turnable dates that you can do here and um, it has all these different like little pop outs of like a sharpener and honestly like a little I have no idea what this is for and um, you can open up the tops and this is where you keep your pencils there's like no space for this like I don't know what she's gonna keep in here because there's like no room for anything but um, anyway there's also a little bottom set she was just really excited about it it's cute it's cute. I'm sure she'll get some use out of it um, and hope finally not lose the gosh darn pencil sharpener because I feel like that happens way too often. Um, but it's just a cute little pencil case that she was like so pumped to have. So I'm excited to give it to her. Hopefully she enjoys it. But this definitely brings back lots of like 90s nostalgia of just like the fun little like binders and school supplies that were kind of like totally not super helpful um it didn't have a whole lot of space but just were kind of fun to use anyway moving on um i think last birth last uh spring for eleanor's birthday i got her one of these i think it was for her birthday last year but i'm not positive but olive was obsessed with it and it was like a, a gummy bear pillow but i found this on amazon and it's very similar it's a pack it's like a little pillow but it has a bunch of like little cats inside of it so um you can take all the cats out so there's all these like little different little kitty cats in here and so she can have her little collection of cats and little stuffies which she absolutely adores and it feels like a little like almost like candy bag or like chip bag they have tons of these things like they have actual like candy like starburst or skittles and you can like pull out like these like little pillows they're super adorable and i thought it was really cute and i know she'll be really excited because she really loved eleanor's little gummy bear and so when i found a cat um version of it i knew that she would love it so i picked that one up for her as well all right so the next thing she's getting was something that she has been asking for um and just dying to have and it i feel again it's like the most random item but um she has been wanting these uh particular pink sketchers forever i don't she's just obsessed she was just dying to have these um she needs some new tennis shoes anyway because her little feet are growing really quickly but she wanted these sketchers so badly so we just got them um they were having a sale recently they're cute they're basic tennis shoes but i know she's going to be super pumped basic baby pink and pastel pink her favorite colors um but this is actually something that my mom is giving her i know she's going to be so excited when she opens it up um on her birthday because she has been begging for these shoes all right this is the last crafty item we have but i saw this and i just knew that she had to have it this is a klutz book if you don't know what klutz um kits are or the klutz like brand but they basically have a bunch of just like fun activity arts and crafts style things um and there are tons of them on amazon i love them i think they're excellent gifts especially for this kind of age range um we have a tons of different things that teach just like different skills and trades like um sewing and again like art related things and weaving and like just ton like comic stuff and tons and tons of stuff but i found this and this is something that i would have died to have at her age like at the scholastic book fairs which this is also klutzes by scholastic and um i would have like just freaked out if i had had if i had gotten this and i just i thought it was like the cutest thing ever but basically it's a book of little fortune tellers or little cootie catchers um, and I don't think she knows what they are. I don't know if kids make them anymore, but they were like the rage when I was a kid. And so, um, it just comes up with a bunch of like tear out style, like fortune tellers and they have all different ones. And you could be like a flower or, um, the crystal ball, like instead of the crystal ball, it's like you ask the cootie catcher or the fortune teller and it tells you what, which I loved that stuff. They have like Halloween, like spooky themed ones and like fairy ones and music ones and gymnastics or sports related ones. I just think this is so cute and was something I loved and think it would be fun for her to be able to take to school and do with her friends at like recess or something. And I don't know. I don't know if you guys ever have any memories of like doing like these like kind of fun activity books that were very centered around I feel like just like beat like a like growing up and being like a tween and like kind of like defining your personality and your style and all that stuff like even the back of here has like little like things that she can fill out that are like um 
blast from the past and like best stuff ever and just like fun little things like she can a day in the life like I loved that stuff when I was a kid so I figured that she'd really like this it was inexpensive like I said it was on Amazon I just feel like it's a fun little gift so again it kind of goes with the book um, and like board game type of thing and then last but not least this was another thing that she really really wanted on her list and so I picked up a couple of these and the first thing is this Hatchimals Alive Love to Life Hatchy Nursery playset. Um, I think that this I got this on Amazon or Target when they were having a big sale and um, recently the Hatchimals came out with like Hatchimals Alive and I guess they're supposed to like break out of their little eggs or whatever but um, again I think her best friend has a bunch of Hatchimals at her house and so they've been playing with them and she was really excited and she really wanted these so I figured this is again is another toy that she can play with um, with her friend on her birthday and stuff too and just really enjoy it and so it's a little nursery so they have like little beds and little like bottles and stuff like I think it'd be fun for them to play with we still have a bunch of Hatchimals when Eleanor was like really big into collecting them and so they can play with that um, as well but so I got her the little Hatchimal nursery set and then I also did buy her a 12 pack of the um, actual like Hatchimals I said a 12 pack an 8 pack 10 pack southern pack whatever you know what I'm saying a bunch a little carton of eggs of Hatchimal live eggs again these are on sale totally worth it. I feel like this is like a, um, a pretty popular like gift this year in this holiday season. Hopefully they turn out well. We've been happy with the Hatchimals before. I think they're fun. They're cute. They're fun little surprise eggs. So that is her, not like bigger thing, but bigger thing. Um, this year I feel like we played it way low key than we normally do, but that's okay because Christmas we have big plans and I can't wait to share them with you. But um, as far as birthdays, I feel like it was pretty pretty low key. There are a couple things that haven't come in yet that I will share with you. I will put up like a video, um, some b-roll or some pictures. I also picked her up a couple of like just little clothing items, some things that she thinks, you know, are totally her up her alley, like little cardigans and little like camis and things that are really cute and pretty and comfortable um, and things that I know that she would enjoy on that front. I also am getting her a rainbow high doll. I have you guys asking me all the time if the girls are still in Rainbow High. You guys send me sales all the time and links, and I love it. Thank you guys so much for doing that. It's so, so thoughtful, but to answer your question, yes, my girls were still very, very much into Rainbow High. It, like, totally died off, and they were just, like, over it. And I was like, great, we have all these dolls. What are we going to do with them? And then it was, like, resurge, and now they're just massively into it again. I've been playing with them all the time, like, super, super obsessed, and so they've added yet like 15 more rainbow high dolls for their Christmas list. So I am giving Ollie one um, for her birthday as well. I don't remember the name of them. They have brought out so many since, um, but she's been asking for this one for a while. So this is the rainbow high doll that she's also gonna be getting. So that is her birthday stuff this year. She always has a little visit from our elves, Cookie and Glitter. They always stop by before they come after Thanksgiving. They always stop by for her birthday for a little visit. And so I decided to kind of help out them this year. And on her birthday morning, they're on her birthday morning. They're gonna include some fun little figurines that I got of Sanrio. And we have like this little birthday cake with cinnamon roll. And we have a cinnamon roll figurine and little like dishes and a tea set with balloons. And they're just gonna be sitting on her birthday pancakes or something in the morning with the with the elves giving her a good morning birthday wishes. So that is officially it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, I will have, I have everything linked for you below um, that I can link. And I am so glad that I got this done and that we're starting off the holiday season with gift guides. Um, so keep an eye out because they are going to be just cranked out and coming to you. I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to share with you guys my holiday like Christmas wish list. I did it for you guys last year and you guys loved it. It was really, really fun. And I have compiled such a fun list this year. I'm so excited to share them with you. Um, so that's the next gift guide video that will be coming your way really soon. And don't worry because my kids, what I got for Christmas video, and stocking stuffer is also coming your way as well as my husband's and families and all that stuff it'll all be here before you know it thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys very soon in the next video bye guys